Hey, what's up nerds? I'm Matthew Courtney and I'm here to help make student level data analysis just a little bit easier in your classroom. One of the most important things that we need to be doing right now in education is looking at the performance between different groups of students so that we can promote better equity for our learners. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly compare performance between groups of students using my data desegregation tool. Let's go to the video. So in this video, we're going to be using my data disaggregation tool, which you can see on the screen. This tool lives on my website, and you can access it at www.matthewbcourtney.com forward slash disaggregate. What we see on the screen right now is a bunch of errors because I haven't put any data in. So we got to start with some data. So let's take a look at our Excel spreadsheet. What you see here is I've got data for a group of students, and each column has a different piece of information for that student. So my first two columns have my um, demographic variables I want to look at today. So I have gender and race, ethnicity. And in column C, I have some test scores for these groups of students or these individual students. And what we're going to do is we're going to sort these um, sort these test scores by these demographic variables so that we can compare the outcomes of students among our groups. In order to use the data disaggregation tool on my website, you have to first save your Excel spreadsheet as a .csv file. Um, and make sure that we take out all personally identifiable information. You should never, ever upload personal information like names, addresses, or student ID numbers to the web. I've already saved my file as a CSV file, so I'm going to jump back over to the tool and show you how it works. Just a couple of clicks will have all the information that we need. So we're going to start by clicking Browse. And we're going to find our file. Uh, mine's on my desktop right here as file two. Whoops, there it is. I click open and you see down here it's going to automatically populate these two columns with the titles of my columns from my spreadsheet. So first I need to select a student demographic variable. It's auto defaulted to the first column which is gender and for me that's fine, that's a demographic variable. Then I'm going to select a column with an outcome variable. So for me that's test scores right here. And so now I see instantly all of my test scores um, sorted by male versus female. And so I can look at my different uh, summary statistics. So for example, my mean or my average, my female students are outscoring my male students just a tad here. And I can scroll down and I can see all of the different um, summary statistics for this group. I can also compare these distributions of scores with a box plot. So if you click the box plot tab here at the top, you'll see I now have a box plot visualization of my female students and a box plot visualization of my male students. And you can see the female students are edging out my male students just a little bit on this, on this uh, distribution. If I have multiple columns, which you know that I do, I just showed you, I can change very quickly by clicking this little arrow and switching from gender to race ethnicity. And now you see I've got new outcomes here for each of my groups. I can scroll down here and I can see that my Asian group is my lowest performing group in, on this exam. My Hispanic Latina group is my highest performing group on this exam. I have these statistics for all of these uh, groups. I also have box plots. This box plot is savable, so if you right click on it, you can save this as an image or copy and paste this image into a report, um, into a PowerPoint slide, into an email, whatever it is that you need to do to share your data analysis with your colleagues back in your school. I hope that this tool will help you quickly examine the differences between groups so that we can better understand our learners and promote equity in our classrooms. To learn more about how you can use student data to learn more about your kiddos, check out other videos on my channel, make sure you hit subscribe, and join the Data Nerds community at www.matthewbcourtney.com forward slash nerds.